Okay, so hi there everyone. We're going to continue with our videos in mathematics and modern world. Um, we're done with the different types of translations. I also showed you that thoroughly in GeoGebra. Now we're going to jump into isometries. So as mentioned above or before this, there are four transformations. Uh, we have the uh, trans translation, we have the rotation, the reflection, and dilation. But um, among them, only three are considered to be isometries. These are the reflection, rotation, and translation. Dilation, on the other hand, is a result of stretching or shrinking the motif or the object. Hence, the the um, the point is the size of the object is not preserved. It's it's, it's not actually the same of um, it's not literally the same object because it's already um, uh, transfigured. So it's no longer congruent to the original one. So hence, it is not an isometry. So what's the definition of an isometry? Isometries are are formed from transformation consisting of any combinations of the three operations. Okay, so we say isometries are any movement of the motif, making sure that the the change in that movement, either a slide, a flip, or even a rotation, um, will preserve the size of it, okay, the size and its and its um and its orientation. So the orientation will not be changed. Only it's uh only that is it is slide. Okay, it is um, rotated and it is reflected. So even any combination of the three transformations are also considered as isometries. So for example, when you combine a reflection and a translation, we call that a, a glide reflection. Um, another isometry is obtained after a reflection and followed by a rotation. So when we do this kind of stuff, these combinations here, we are actually preserving what we call the symmetry of objects. So there are many objects in nature that are symmetrical. Um, I know that you know some. The composition of isometries in the plane is called a symmetry. So you apply some is isometries in, in a plane. So the, the effect there, you compose a lot of it and you will have a symmetry. Mathematically, it means mapping the pattern, or rather mapping the pattern in the plane back onto itself. So we have three major types of symmetries. These are what we call the rosette patterns, the freeze patterns, and the wallpaper patterns. So we're gonna discuss them one by one um, next time. I'm going to show you the rosette patterns first, and then the freeze patterns, and then the wallpaper patterns. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.